mustard, and watermelon. For this trip, we are headed to Florence at the Jesse M. Honeyman Memorial State Park, and we're super excited because we get to spend the weekend with our family. So follow along with us and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I love those steps. Really? Okay. I feel like they're just so handy that you can just like shove them back inside. You don't have to like take them on and off. <laughs> These are the step above steps. Bye. All right. We forgot our prepped food, so. Here I am, making a tuna fish sandwich for the husband and the kids. I saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name Colt you think daddy could ride your bike no why to go check out a couple lakes here or one of them is on this side of the highway i forget what it's called but uh brought some fishing poles so we're gonna go see if we can catch some trout yeah we'll get back with you guys when we hit the lake I think this weekend is the last weekend that they stock trout in the lakes. Is it? So what are you doing? I'm uh, stringing up this pole. With a sinker rig. What's a sinker rig? Well, you put a weight. I got two because I don't have enough with a bead so it doesn't get stuck on your swivel or whatever. And we'll put a leader on this other end of this swivel. <sighs> and then your bait will float here in the water and then when the fish grabs your bait, these will slide through. Nice. And tell me what you use the fingernail clippers for? To cut the fishing line. Cheap hack, guys. <laughs> Some people buy $30 nippers. We buy, I buy 99 cents. What? Am I good 
No, you could not get that. I got my, my frisbee up there. I know. How'd your frisbee get up there? I just threw it up there. You threw it up there. <laughs> Come out. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. And that way you have a clean fish you can cook now. You like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so learning on this one, but one thing that I found is if we don't have a sewer hookup, we only have I don't remember the size of our grade tank. I think it's about 40 gallons. But if we don't have a sewer hookup, it takes me a lot longer to do dishes, dishes because I have to be really strategic about it and fill it up a little bit and then wash everything and rinse everything and then do the same thing again so that we do not fill up our tank. So one way that we can definitely solve this is to get one of those portable tanks. And then when our grade tank is full, we can dump it into that and then drive that over to the dump station with the truck. But for now, we're trying to avoid that. So I've probably been working on dishes and cleaning for the past 30, 45 minutes, but Jax is asleep also. So I'm trying to be quiet so he can sleep, but I'm also trying to get the dishes done so I can function. Um, much like at home, it's hard to kind of walk away from your home when everything's still a mess from breakfast. So that's what I'm working on right now. The guys are fishing. We are here on free fishing weekend. So it's free fishing weekend and free parks weekend. So we ended up getting one of our night stays here free and then Colt's under 11 so he can fish for free anyways. But so yeah. The guys are over there fishing and I'm just kind of trying to straighten up the house right now and then we will go out and have some more adventures later. All right, we'll get back to you later. Yeah, my dad. That's, that's it. It's doggy as water. <laughs> Put your feet on the pedals.
So I've been seeing this challenge all over the internet and all over TikTok. So I figured we actually have all the things. So why not try it while we're camping? Mustard and watermelon. Go ahead. Hmm. Well, that was pretty boring. Okay. Hmm. I don't hate this. That's so weird. Okay. So, with your first bite, it almost makes it taste like hot sauce. It kind of tastes like tapatio or maybe Tabasco, and it's not bad. I don't know why people do this. I don't know why they came up with it. Be barbecue where they were just mixing their food, but it's not horrible. Now we got to talk everybody else into trying it. Happy leaving day. Mm. Happy leaving day. Should be leaving morning. Right. So what else do we have to do to get ready for ye on your end? Everything. I haven't packed up anything yet. All the things. What do you got planned for today? I'm going to pack. I'm going to drive for the next four hours to our home. <laughs> and then I'm packed. of our Florence trip. We didn't do, I don't really look that window. So we didn't really do activities on this trip. So we wanted to pop in and kind of tell you about some of the activities that are available here. So in Florence, you can hit Sandland Adventures. We drove past it, it looks really awesome. You can do dune tours, dune buggy rides. What was the other one that you saw? Boats. Oh, at that Sandland place, yeah. there was uh, bumper boats. Bumper boats, go karts, uh, mini golf. So that looks really neat. And then, as always, if you're on the coast, a lot of people want to hit up Mo's Seafood Restaurant. So that's down on the waterfront. There are a lot of really cute shops down there, too. There's also a military museum here in Florence. And then just making sure that you check out the beach and that you check out the dunes and the only thing you need to do on the Oregon coast is go ride a four-wheeler or ATVs or motorcycle whatever your choice is in the sand dunes that's what people come here to do from all over the country yes they don't come here to pop on a swimsuit and lay out on the beach because this is not the state for that 64 degrees which is pretty warm today it is but you got to remember that on the coast 
like, at least here, 64 degrees is, could feel like, I don't know. 64 degrees is about as hot as it gets. If it gets above that, it's, it's a rare day in the middle of summer. But with the wind chill, about 64 degrees could feel like 45 or 50. So today actually we hit a really nice day, of course, because today we are leaving. But it's, yeah, really beautiful. So make sure you 